Okay, the next series of uh, recordings are going to be on polymer. So we'll just start with looking at the materials used in medical devices, uh, which we, we've looked at this slide a few times. Uh, so we're looking at, at polymers now. And the types of polymers that you may be familiar with would be polyethylene, PET, polyesters, PVC, and silicons. Uh, so in the, in the course of these uh, lectures, I'm going to talk um, about these different types of polymers and their applications for medical devices and how they are manufactured into medical devices. So polymers and polymer-based materials constitute one of the largest categories of medical devices currently available to the healthcare community. And I suppose it's why I left it to the end. Um, if you were to survey the medical device companies uh, in any region, the majority of manufacturing would be using polymers. Because there's continual developments in material science based on plastic and polymer technology, there will be a steady stream of new and increasingly advanced medical devices uh, being made available. Um, so why are they used uh, so commonly? What is the big appeal to polymers? Um, and I suppose that the reason is um, that they are very versatile. So I've put a picture of a Swiss Army knife there just to show. They they are ubiquitous. They can do what you want them to do. They have very diverse properties. They can be flexible or rigid, low strength or high strength, resistant to protein attachment or modified to encourage protein attack attachment. They can be biodegradable or permanent and they be can be fabricated into complex shapes by many methods. So they are the most ubiquitous of the materials. We've looked at metals and ceramics so far and they each have a very um, real applications in medical devices, but they don't display this uh, versatility in properties that polymers do. And it's why I suppose polymers are trying to edge into the metal uh, space. Um, so with uh, stents, uh, there is a move towards polymer stents. But some disadvantages of polymers, they tend to have lower strengths than metals or ceramics. They can deform with time. They can deteriorate during sterilization, which we've looked at already. And they may degrade in the body catastrophically or through the release of toxic byproducts. So these are some very real disadvantages. So in the next section, I'm going to move on to different polymer types and uh, what they are used for.